news tonight's honorees. Mom and Dad, I say this on behalf of myself and of my two sisters who couldn't be 
here tonight. We are so proud of the work that you have done and continue to do fighting for our community and our country, and we are so inspired to be your daughters. Thank you, and we love you. community to the state of Israel and they're extremely passionate in their fight against the BDS movement. I've learned the meaning of philanthropy by serving with them on various foundations that they've created and I'm proud to partner with them in this effort. And I'd say if I could take a few minutes, a few seconds to you know, go off script and just tell you both that I love you both. Thank you so much for everything you do. You've made a tremendous impact on my personal life and my philanthropic life and made me uh, a better man, a better father, a better husband, and uh, truly grateful for everything that you do for the Jewish people of the state of Israel. So, we can welcome our honorees, Adam and Gila Milstein. love and support Israel. It is truly humbling for us to receive this honor from the greatest Jewish organization in the world. Thank you. I draw my inspiration from two great pillars of our community and role models for us all, Dr. Miriam and Sheldon Edelson. Thank you, Miriam and Sheldon, for your never-ending dedication and unconditional support of the State of Israel and the Jewish people. Adam and I served in the IDF, where I was a, an officer. <laughs> but our, our service did not end with the military service. When we came to the United States, we made it our mission to do all we can as activists and philanthropists to strengthen the Jewish people and the state of Israel. We also made sure to pass our love for Israel to our three daughters. Our oldest daughter, who is here with us, she volunteered to serve in the IDF. go to Jewish school and speak Hebrew. Our youngest daughter, Natalie, she made Aliyah, earned her master from Tel Aviv University, works at the Paris Center for Peace and Innovation, and is now pursuing her MBA from the IDC. What we did in our family, ensuring the next generation connections to Israel and to Judaism, is what birthright does on a world level for hundreds of thousands of young Jews around the world. A few years ago, Adam and I went on a birthright donors trip and then at the Western World in Jerusalem, we joined college students who fell in love with Israel during their birthright trip. They decided to have their bar and bat mitzvah at the Kotel at the age of 20. It was moving and unforgettable. When we send our young Jewish Jews on the trip, we are connecting them to a piece of themselves, to their history, and to our community. They become proud, proud to be Jewish. I see birthright impact everywhere I go. I see, I see their graduates volunteer in pro-Israel organizations 
on and off campus, establish Jewish and pro-Israel organizations, and later on, also donate and support the Jewish causes. I see birthright graduates in conferences and events as they remain, remain involved community members, not to mention finding their shidduch on the trip. In other words, birthright makes everyone else's job easier. Birthright's work is leveraged by thousands of Jewish organizations around the world. Although it's not an easy task to pass the love of Israel to the next generation today, it is our duty to do so. And Birthright is fulfilling this duty with much success, time and time again. The impact is lifelong, deep, and on a mass scale. And for that reason, Adam and I, and I become a committed and we continue to be committed to supporting Birthright. It warms my heart to be surrounded by so many generous people who share our passion to support this important work and make sure there will be a Jewish future. Thank you. introduction in Gila for your beautiful words and thank you all so much for this tremendous honor. In 2007 when Gila and I were first introduced to Birchwright it was a no-brainer for us that this program was a life-changing experience for our young people connecting them both to their Jewish identity and the state of Israel. The element of the program that really captivated us is called Mivgashim. I think the soldiers today spoke about it, but we heard about it when it started in 2007. Mivgashim is the meeting, and it brings together birthright participants with young Israeli soldiers for the duration of the trip. We have seen testimonies that today are facts that birthright participants said this was the most exciting part of the trip. It allows them to see the land of Israel through the eyes and the feelings of young Israelis that served in the army. Furthermore, Gil and I were inspired by a huge benefit that I think is starting to resonate today. Many people were not aware of it before. Because of the machine, both the young Americans and the Israeli understood that the Israeli Defense Forces is not just defending Israel. They are defending the Jewish people worldwide. It reminded us of the Atebi operation in 1976, when Israeli commandos, led by Yoni Netanyahu, flew 2,500 miles to rescue the kidnapped Jewish passengers on the Air Force, on the Air France flight. It also reminded us of the three Israeli F-15 Eagles flying over Auschwitz in 2003 and transmitting the following powerful message from the cockpit. Please listen carefully. We, the pilot of the Israeli Air Force, flying above the skies of the camps of horror, arose from the ashes of millions of Jewish victims, promised to be the shield of the Jewish people and its nation Israel forever. The first donation that Gila and Light made in 2007 to Bershwright was exactly to support Mifgashim. Within a few years, we significantly increased our giving to Bershwright and became uh, major donors. What followed substantiated when we take an active role with our charitable time and money, it can create huge impact and benefit for the, for the Jewish people. It really tells you that philanthropy pays off for all of us. And here is the story. As major donors, we were invited to meet Dr. Miriam and Sheldon Edison in Vegas 
on an annual basis. In those meetings, which started about 10 years ago in 2009, we were introduced to the Edison remarkable activism and generosity. We got a better understanding of their extraordinary vision for preserving the Jewish people and the American community through Bearstrike. I still remember my conversation with Sheldon, where he told me there is a normal way of doing business, and there is the gigantic way of doing business, or the Edison way of doing business, and that's what he does for Bearstrike, and that's what Miri Nim does for any program that they love. Gigantic way of doing business. Our annual meetings also gave us the opportunity to share with Miriam Edison some of our other philanthropic work, like the Israeli American Council, the IC, which we helped launch in 2006, a few years earlier, as well as other initiatives to fight BDS and anti-Semitism in America. The vision of the IC really resonated with the Israeli American family of Miri and Sheldon. And after a few invitations, they both attended the ISC annual gala in Los Angeles in 2013, became huge believers and supporters, and our marching orders were to help to expand the ISC nationwide, right away, and in the Edison way. And it happened. Today we are the fastest growing Jewish organization in the United States, and the president is coming to speak to our annual convention in Florida in exactly two weeks. Tonight we celebrate the sixth annual Birthright Gala in Los Angeles. The first two mentioned in 2013 and 2014 took place at our own, both graciously attended by the Edison and helped us to expand the awareness and the funding of the program locally here in Los Angeles. Over the past six years, we also partnered with the Edison on several unique projects to fight anti-Semitism in America, including the Maccabee Task Force, which we assisted them in launching in 2015. Millie and Sheldon, you set the standard for all Jewish leaders of our time, and I cannot tell you how grateful all of us are for your friendship and all that you do for our community, for the Jewish people and the state of Israel. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You see, philanthropy works. We can accomplish so much giving time and money to good things. Birthright is must one of the most transformative philanthropic endeavors of our era. I agree with the Edison when they say Without birthright, there will be far fewer connected and active Jews in America today. But assimilation and alienation from Israel are not the only challenges that we face today. It is no secret that anti-Semitism is rising. It is becoming increasingly mainstream in America. This evil did not die with the fall of Nazi Germany. It just took 75 years break. We see it spreading rapidly on our universities, on our high school, academic association, trade union, churches, think tanks, politics, media, culture and entertainment and beyond. It's every place and it's growing. This evil will continue to grow. We know it and we feel it. We are concerned and frustrated about our preparedness and inability to stop it. But we're not too late. And we're not powerless. There are several things we can and must do to fight together. First, and most importantly, please listen, we must adopt, embrace, and support the State of Israel without any preconditions. Israel, Israel is our Jewish homeland. It's where our peoplehood, history, and heritage come from, and it's dedicated to safeguarding the Jewish people all over the world. Israel is our insurance policy. We must continue to pay. Without Israel, the Jewish people are weak and vulnerable. Second, it is a rare time in history where our enemies are the enemies of all the American people. We can join other groups which fight hate, bigotry, and racism in America. The Jews 
are just the low-hanging fruits, but anti-Semitism is not a Jewish problem, it's an American problem. And thirdly, the Jewish American community is the most successful immigrant community in the history of the United States. We should not hesitate to leverage our resources and influence to fight anti-Semitism. Jewish leader must transform our mindset from risk averse to going on the offense, from we have too much to lose, that we must act now before we lose it all. Bears right, participants are more con connected to the Jewish identity in Israel than most Americans. Many of them return as proud Jews and willing to take a stand. This is why tonight I want to encourage each one of you which did not donate yet to consider increasing your philanthropic giving to Birchright. This is the place and now is the time. Thank you very much.